Today, I have taken a long trade on an altcoin. And in this video, I wanna be talking you through the technical reasons and of course the setup itself of this long. Okay, what we're looking at for the next few weeks to come and how this trade is looking to progress. And I want to, of course, share that technical analysis and go through the setup with you, which I know many of you are going to appreciate, but I actually have a main goal of this video. And I think we have a wonderful opportunity together. Why? Because this is directly related to the setup that I shared on Friday publicly for free in the live stream. So yes, we are going to be going over Pepe today through this setup that I shared uh, on Friday. And I really want to ask just one thing of you on this video, and that is that you please pay attention. And it's not for my benefit, it's for yours, because I truly, I truly know, I know that this video is gonna help you. I'm gonna be pouring out my knowledge and insights from this setup, and if you truly listen, you can absolutely integrate this into the brain of yours to use this going forwards. What I'm gonna be teaching you today is common. You know, it's what I do every single time I take a trade. So whether you longed Pepe or not, whether you missed that trade or you took it, the knowledge that I will be passing on to you in this video is going to be used for the rest of your life. Let's just, let's just say that. So uh, yeah, if that sounds interesting to you, please just listen carefully to what I say. And I really, really feel you are going to benefit from this video. You're going to come away from it actually having learnt and, uh, you know, really empowering yourself. And, you know, my mission of this video is to simply help you get up to that level of trader you want to be. And, and I know I can do it with just a few simple steps in this video. You're going to be walking away happy. So, uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoy it. it. Might be a little bit longer than normal, and that is because I have some really key information that I want to share. And I just feel we have a just a wonderful opportunity here because it's not every day I do a, a public live stream, right? And the one time I do in many months, I hand on to you a uh, pretty nice trade setup. And as you see, this was right towards the end of the stream. And <laughs> this is why you've got to stay to the end. Because I had a few people in the Discord in the Champions today say, oh, I clicked off too early. I thought the uh, thought the video was over. And yeah, no, the video wasn't over. Stay to the end. We got some golden nuggets. And uh, of course, bringing it back professional here to the charts. What we were waiting for on Pepe was actually something very amazing. Uh, at the time on Friday, we were looking for a drop to get into a long trade, right? We're actually looking here. So here is a drop of 40% to the downside. We were waiting for a 40% drop. There might be a few different emotions throwing, flowing through people's mind at that time, right? First of all, people might be thinking, ah, there's no way this drops 40%. You know, this is, this is bullish. This is Pepe. This is going to continue up higher. People are not ready to accept a 40% drop, okay? Why? Because a lot of people are FOMO. They are in mode of euphoria at this moment in time. Pepe is up a lot. It is absolutely on the races. It's even got some local bullish signs. So people don't want to be thinking, ah, this is going to drop heavily. Because what happens to the majority of people from that high to the low, we're talking about nearly 46, 40, yeah, about 46% from the overall move from where we looked at it on Friday to there, about 40%. And so the people that have longed this over the past month, over the past few weeks here at the highs, the majority of them will then actually be losing, getting liquidated potentially on that pullback. Okay, so where the education comes in here, before of course I move on to what I'm looking at next, which naturally we will cover, this is a technical analysis video, so I will cover the future price action of this coin. But what I really want you to truly understand here is the importance. And here you can see it, you know, for yourself. We went through it for free, right, on this live stream. The importance of a plan, it's as simple as that. Because what is happening here, on that 40% pullback from the high, what are the majority of people thinking? They're going for a few different thoughts. First of all, you know, fearful, scared, thinking it's going to drop even more. And they are not planned and prepared to take a long trade. Because at this moment in time, when we add on the analysis, so you can actually see how this progressed, we can see from our prediction on that stream to where price bottomed out, I think we can all agree we were, we were pretty damn accurate. Okay, this is uh, what we call precision in the markets. From the low to the high here is a 30% bounce. 
30% or 29%. But nevertheless, from that low to high, you can see there 29.75. So that is nothing shabby. In the whole grand scheme of things, it doesn't look like a big bounce. But when you put the numbers towards it, this is a 30% bounce. I mean, that is big. That is a... Uh be making some pretty nice profits there if I say so myself. Um, so what I want to talk about now is from that plan how we come towards an entry trigger. Of course I have taken this long and then what we're looking at then in terms of the take profits and the important levels that we have now going ahead. So first of all the entry trigger right and you have two. You have two entry triggers that I want to talk you through here and this comes down to conservative and more aggressive entries because you do have two. I went for the more conservative, uh, <laughs> and that was partly because you you know you've probably if you've been watching my videos and uh, wearing my content for the past you know week I am looking for more of a retracement on Bitcoin. So with myself looking for more of a drop on Bitcoin locally, right? So I'm locally you know short and Jill uh, bearish. You know I am looking for lower on Bitcoin here. Ne nevertheless, for a wave four, for a continuation upwards again, but nevertheless, locally, I'm looking for lower on Bitcoin. And, you know, I had a few champions ask me as well, right, Daniel, why are you looking to long Pepe if you think uh, Bitcoin's going to drop more? Doesn't that not make sense? Because you're looking to long Pepe against Tether, and if Bitcoin drops, you know, Pepe is, is likely to drop too, right? So that, how does that make sense? First of all, it comes down to, right, having that plan. We had that plan in place. So if we get a nice setup, okay, then, and I'm referring to this, by the way, this plan that we had, if we have that nice plan, even if we are expecting Bitcoin to drop more, if we get a technical entry trigger with invalidation, we can still absolutely long that altcoin or trade that altcoin, even if we're expecting lower on Bitcoin. So come down to that, as well as, you know, let what I'm going to explain next. But first of all, I want to go over the entry triggers that you had here. First was the aggressive. What is that? So obviously we had the anchored VWAP in here. This is what we had. Is, I just, I just called so perfect confluence. The anchored VWAP. OK, at the time. And you saw my eyes light up. If you watch that stream live, you saw me go, wow. <laughs> when I saw the 1618 Fibonacci extension lining up with that anchored VWAP. Wow, 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 wow. That is just like, yeah, I have a pretty, pretty high confidence in what's happening next. And that is a 40 percent drop to the best confluence you're going to see there. 1618 extension on the anchored VWAP on taking out the psychological 600s on the value area low of the first part of this uptrend, right? You had all of that come together to give you this epic layer of confluence. So entry trigger number one would have been for you aggressive traders out there, uh, really simply coming down, wicking onto these levels. You can see on the hour chart here, totally unable to close down below the anchored VWAP 1618 extension. So wick, 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 wick. You know, you have plenty of opportunity for an aggressive long trade entry. I did not go for that. I went for the more conservative entry like I am, right? And for that, I actually just simply waited for the MS change, high, higher low, higher high, then the retrace back into the CC Fibonacci. For me, hey, at that point, I have an entry trigger. I have an easier clear invalidation. And of course, I still have the higher targets. And even from the CC, okay, so even from the CC to the last high we still made, that is 17%. So in one day, we've already seen a 17% rise on this coin. And I want to explain a reason of a take profit. And again, I, I want to stress this might look small or insignificant, but when you are looking at these type from, from a day trader's perspective, even from an, anyone, you know, 17% is a big move. So yeah, for, for me, it's important to re remember that. But nevertheless, that was my entry trigger based off of after seeing a bit of a sign of strength and the retest. You know, then I have my clear entries and validations. And even if Bitcoin drops down lower, you know, I'm still absolutely happy to take that entry trigger on the altcoin because my plan is for the altcoin. My entry is for the altcoin. It's not thinking about Bitcoin. I will just say this as a little bit of a tip. Sometimes you can talk yourself out of trading altcoins because of what's happening on Bitcoin. But I will always say this. If you have a good setup on the altcoin, you can absolutely take that setup on the altcoin, right? And don't place too much emphasis on Bitcoin if you have like a golden setup online in lining up in front of your eyes. And you do have that there on Pepper. You did have it, right? You had all of this confluence. You got the reaction. You've got a market structure change. You've got a retest. Like what more do you want at that point? 
the only reason you wouldn't take it at that point, in my opinion, is if you simply are scared. And we've said this once, we'll say it again, scared money does not make money, right? <laughs> you got to have some balls. You've got to have some confidence in yourself to take those trades. If you don't have confidence in yourself, have confidence in me <laughs> when I say, yeah, I'm looking to take this long trade, right? So, um, of course, now we have that entry. Let me go over what we are looking at next. So if we just zoom out a little bit, okay, we've had that absolute pinpoint precision of the low. We have bounced from that Fibonacci retracement. Of course, still sits now on this larger range that we're looking at. So we're going to really look at this as an overall range low. And this is where it differs from Bitcoin, right? And when we have the overall range high. So what are we currently well, on this local move that we've just seen, we can see a retest of the value area low. But where is the resistance coming in now? It's clearly coming on this point of control, right? So as mentioned, from the low to the high there, that's about a 30% bounce to the upside. Where did we reject from? Middle of the channel, point of control. Boom, back into the CC, retest. Easy take profit one, take out the high of that first move, right? So from a lower term time frame trader, it's just like bread and butter, what we would do every single day of the week. Nothing at all there surprises me in the slightest. Move up to the middle of the channel on the point of control, rejection, pull back to the CC, bounce, take profit one back on the previous high. That's still, of course, in this middle of the channel point of control zone, taking out the previous high, 17% bounce to the upside, Bread and butter, lock in your take profit one. No one is going hungry anymore after locking in that, right? And then it is a simple case of waiting. What happens next is going to be absolutely key to what goes on. Well, it is, of course, going to have Bitcoin in consideration, but really whether we can reclaim this point of control. If we can go on to reclaim this point of control, I have one important level above me, which is the daily, right? Then we have the weekly. So the two levels above us I'd be aware of are the daily here and the weekly here. If we can go on to reclaim these, okay, this is going to be adding in a lot of confidence in a new all-time high on Pepe. Again, just as the CC from the low to high here gave us the long trade. You can also pull the CC from high to low to give you that area of resistance on the value area high. I think you want to be recording this daily level, 784, weekly level, 854, okay? And these are two levels to absolutely be aware of. Uh, if we can actually go on to reclaim the daily, there is a very strong probability that we can push on to the all-time high. Um, so for me, that that's going to be uh, very nice. Might compound if we can do that, right? At the moment, I have hit my take profit one off of taking that previous high. And I will now remain patient because what's going to happen is one of two things, my friends. From here, we are either going to unable to reclaim the middle of the channel, point of control, daily zone. Okay, so if we are unable to reclaim that and we simply hold it as resistance, guess what? We're going to go down lower. If we are unable to breach resistance, we will simply go down and test the next level of liquidity below us. And... Have a guess, my friends. Please listen carefully. If this happens and, you know, I took a long trade entry with a higher target, if that higher target, overall target doesn't get hit, but I've hit my take profit one and price drops and stops me out, that trade has made profit. I was not technically correct overall on the trade. I had the entry correct, but my target overall was too high. But if I've taken profit one, OK, and protected myself with my stop loss, even if that stop loss is hit, I've still made profits on the trades. And that is what I want you to absolutely have in your mind on every trade. If you can get yourself into hitting a take profit one. OK, again, we don't want to be looking for take profit ones after a 0.1% bounce. You know, let's have a bit of common sense. Here is a 17% bounce to the upside. You know, we've had a very nice bounce. It's absolutely, you know, a high percentage move and it's also a technical uh, reason to take profit one, right? So if you can get yourself into that take profit one, lock in a nice take profit, and then you can start to put yourself in a position, relax, right? Absolutely relax. Why? Because now I can say to myself, hey, I can go to sleep like a baby. And if price rises 100%, hey, I make even more profit on the long. If price drops 50%, hey, I got stopped out that long. 
and I look for another trade setup to happen lower down the chart. I'm not sad, I'm not upset if I get stopped out that long. Why? Because that trade has already made me profit. By locking in that take profit one, I've guaranteed myself profit and I can happily wait for whatever happens next. I'm happy with it. Be it more profits on the rise, hey, perfect, right? That's the preferred scenario. Or if we do drop and I get stopped out of it, hey, I mark it down, I record it in my journal, I understand it with my statistics, and I simply say, hey, overall it ended profitable, profitable. That's a uptick on my PL curve. I'm happy with that. Now let's look for the next trade setup. And it's a simple game of probabilities, taking my trades, winning some, losing some. Overall, on that PL curve, we're looking for that slow and steady uptrend. Nothing goes straight up, it's a curve. You are going to have losses and you're going to have winners. You look for those winners to be bigger than the losses, of course. And generally, right, we're looking to take more winners than losses, too. So we factor all this in together and we have that strong, healthy up curve, even if we are only hitting take profit one on a lot of trades and getting stopped on the rest of it. It's still ending in a profitable trade. And, and that's what we're after. It's not to be right. It's to be profitable. And that's how we do it. So, uh, yeah, for me, absolutely key what goes on here on this point of control daily zone. If we can reclaim that, then absolutely, this still is in play and we can go up to the all-time highs. If we reject here, we head down, then, hey, it's a pretty sad day for Pepe. <laughs> we'll get stopped out of this particular long trade. Of course, very similar to Bitcoin, we could be looking to the uh, bigger range low. Okay. Be looking towards the bigger range low. Or we could just simply have another trade set up at the bigger range low. Um, otherwise, yeah, we'd be looking for a much bigger retrace down to the daily here, right? So uh, that that's a very big drop indeed, but uh, I wouldn't forget about it. But uh, for now, everything is going nicely on this long. Uh, point of control daily is key. If we reclaim that, we can look to compound, bring it up to new highs. If we are unable to claim and we reject from here on the daily, then yes, I can look to channel low to this lower daily. So I really hope that you understood what I've gone through here, the importance of the plan. Okay, None of this that I've gone through is hindsight. I, I taught you through the exact level where we were looking for the low. Okay, And then you can see that was the exact level of the low. Very strong technical analysis confluence. Um, you know, that, that's what you're after here. And that's what we had. So you know, I will say this, if you want more altcoin information, more altcoin setups, then every single week, we do have a video dedicated to altcoins. So every week we got an altcoin update. <laughs> it's not always Shima, <laughs> but every week we do have an altcoin update. We will take your requests. So Severin will take your requests of altcoins you want to be reviewed. So if you have an altcoin that you love and you want reviewed, hey, post it. And we're taking two to three altcoins every week as a request. Uh, and of course, everyone's just going through his favorite altcoin setups anyway. But so this is a very profitable stream to be aware of, right? So if you want more alts, you've absolutely got it with Chart Champions. Dedicated altcoin streams. Of course, we've got live trading streams, contender session streams, daily update streams. Every day of the week, you have a live stream update. If you want to take advantage of all of that, you know where to get it. Chartchampions.com as well as the full educational course too, right? So... Yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense in terms of having the plan. Then you have your two types of entries, aggressive, conservative, understanding why we lock in a take profit one. And well, in this instance, why I looked at locked in my take profit one, where I locked in my take profit one. And then it's a simple case of remaining patient and, you know, waiting along uh, with, with the price action, right? So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed that. I will just say thank you ever so much. And, uh, lol, Dango is really good. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just say that. Thank you, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And if you want more, you know where to get it via chartchampions.com. We'll just end by saying this. Of course, I am not a financial advisor, right? I am not giving financial advice. The disclaimer, as always, will be at the end of this video. But, uh, you know, paper trade demo account profits is uh, what we're after here. And, and that's what we got. So very happy indeed. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.